All right, so here we're going to review how to make, uh, say, uh, 10 of these appear above us in uh, during the game. So first we have our, our object here that we want. We have to go into Assets and make sure there's a Resources folder. So right-click, Create Folder. And it has to be exactly Resources, so capital R, spelt like that. And go into this. Uh, so we find the object we want and left click and drag and then let go of left click. So we brought our cube into resources and you can actually delete it from here now if you want. Um, so this is our, our prefab and it's ready to go. So from before we had uh, our game object game brain with the attached script game brain. So I'm going to open that up now. So that here it is. And all we have to do, first we have to uh, load the prefab. So game object, whoops, capital G. Prefab equals resources.load. And here we have to put in the exact, exact name cube with a capital C. Make sure that exactly matches uh, this guy here. So now prefab is our cookie cutter that we have. And we can make as many of those as we want from it. So I said I was going to make 10, 100, can't remember. Um, I'm just going to do it 100 times. Int i 0 i plus 100 i plus plus. OK, so this will happen 100 times. It's a for loop. It'll start at 0 and end at 99. So all we have to do now is make a new game object with capital G again equals instantiate and then we put in our prefab now there's one last thing because sure we've made it but I also want to specify where it is otherwise they're all hundred of them are going to be in the same spot so the way you move that is you just take your game object dot transform so from here we can change rotation position or scale I'm going to do position equals new vector 3 Hmm, zero i times five. So a position is just a vector three, just like it could be a float or an int or a game object. These are all types. Vector three is what the position is, and I'm saying x is zero, um, y is going to be a variable, and z is going to be zero. So this will be on the first go it'll be 0. Then the y will become 5. When, when i is 2, it'll be 10. When i is 10, it'll be uh, 50, and so on. So if we save this and go back into Unity and we press play, oh, appears to be some error. I'll click console, cannot convert type oh, as game object save it's probably good now and we're gonna play yeah and so we just made a hundred and they're all gonna go crazy